What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense of Best coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm fixing to take you out of history class, people, because I see that a lot of the problem here is that a lot of people don't understand the history of what's going on. And without understanding the history, and I mean from the beginning, people, of what happened and how things got to where they are today, it's hard for you to understand what's going on in this play and what exactly it is that they are trying to stop. All right, now let's take a look at this little picture graph right here I made for y'all. In the old days, brokerage firms would hire people on to go and deliver the orders to the New York Stock Exchange or whatever the case may be. They ride horses and whoever had the fastest horses and got to the New York Stock Exchange, the quickest, got their orders filled. All right, then the invention of the telephone. And once the telephone was invented, they would call and it would transfer the order through the phone lines until it reached the New York Stock Exchange. Now, the problem here was that in order to use the phone, when the phone would start ringing, and by the time the phone would ring on the other end of the New York Stock Exchange, it was too slow for them. All they had to do was take and set up another office that would be closer. And then another one would set up an office that was closer to the New York Stock Exchange. You see that? And what happened was this person getting their phone call transmitted to the New York Stock Exchange quicker was able to fill his orders. He got the leftovers, and the guy that was the furthest away from the New York Stock Exchange at the time was last in line to get their order filled. Now, when this started happening and people started getting their offices closer and closer and closer to the New York Stock Exchange, they had to come up with a different method, all right? Well, how could this person, which was last in line, beat this person who was first in line, all right? And I'm, by that, I mean, there is, a, there is a lag time between phone calls, and even if it's a millisecond, it matters, all right, when you're trading in the volume that they're talking about trading. So this guy had to figure out how he was going to overtake this guy and this guy, if he was going to get his order to the New York Stock Exchange first. So what they done was they created a new line, okay? No longer did this person have to go through the telephone line system and wherever the lines of the system went up the valley and down the valley and all the way around the city until it reaches the New York Stock Exchange, they needed to get there first. So when the invention of fiber optic happens, somebody had the bright idea that we got we can use fiber optic to get there faster than the telephone lines. But it had to be a straight line. All right? Because if the telephone system did this and their system did straight lines to the New York Stock Exchange, they could beat or front run this market maker or broker, all right? So what they done was, and this is a true story, they drilled a hole through the mountains so that this line would be perfectly, perfectly straight, that there was no curvature, that there was nothing in the way in hindering this line from going from point A to the New York Stock Exchange nonstop, straight shot to getting their orders filled. Now, with the invention of this, then these brokers started saying, well, what the fuck can we do? Because now he is getting ahead of us. And it makes no difference how close we are. Well, fast forward to today. Ken Griffin has made arrangements with the New York Stock Exchange. And his server is in the same room with the New York Stock Exchange's servers. So, now, everybody's order is delayed. It makes no difference if they use carrier fucking pigeon, 
all right? His order flow will get filled first because he is in the room with the New York Stock Exchange. This is a fact. This is exactly what they're talking about when they say high frequency trading. Okay? Now, what happened here? Fidelity gets mad and they say, we got to do something. I mean, we're not getting our orders filled. By the time we get our order flow to the New York Stock Exchange following this route, we're losing out. And we're losing out because these people are front running us with the optic cable. What do we do? So, Fidelity makes a deal with Citadel and says, we'll give you our order flow. They don't get a payment for their order flow. They give their order flow to Citadel. Why? So that Citadel can get their order filled on the New York Stock Exchange first. Simple as that. So now you can understand why it's important to see how this process is working, all right, and why the urgency to get closer and closer and closer to the actual exchange and that eventually Ken Griffin wiggled his way in and he's sitting at the top. And now anybody else that wants to trade on the New York Stock Exchange or any other exchange that he's running, they can now send their order flow to Citadel or Virtue. There's like five of them. And they will get their orders filled for them through that market maker because their servers are directly in the New York Stock Exchange's room with their servers. Nobody can beat their timing. That's the reason for the whole thing. So, if you can grasp what it means that high frequency trading and what it is that Ken Griffin has actually monopolized the market in, is that now every broker basically has to go through him because they're not going to get their orders filled in a good time. And if they're going to get the best execution price, they have to go through Citadel. So there you go, in eight minutes. Love y'all, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.